Okay, welcome. And today we're going to talk about distance, rate, and time. So these are common problems that come up all the time in many different situations that require us to figure out something regarding um, the relationship between distance, rate, and time. So the most common one is the distance equals rate times time. So again, the distance a car travels, right? The distance something travels is related to the rate it's traveling at and the amount of time it's traveling. So when you multiply these two together, again, think of the unit, unit dimension analysis here. Rate is given by what? Distance per time. So again, think about the way this works. So this is distance per time. That's rate, right? Times time, right? So this, these units are going to cancel out and you get distance, right? So it makes perfect sense. Now, distance equals rate times time, so that's the typical one we start with. But again, you can change these around and you can solve it for this one. You can solve it for t, right? So if you just divide both sides by r, you get this one, okay? Or if you divide both sides by t, you get this one. So these three formulas are the same formula. They're just solved for different variables, okay? Now, let's do an example. So here's a transportation example. It says the developers of a high-speed rail project in California have guaranteed that their high-speed train, called the bullet train, will cover the 400 miles from Los Angeles to San Jose in no more than two hours and 40 minutes. Okay, so what do they give us there? So the first thing is they give us the distance, right? So we always want to write down the unknowns, okay? Always want to write down, well, not the unknowns, but want to know, write down the variables that are given and also what you're trying to solve for. So in this case, the distance is 400 miles, right? And the time that they're guaranteeing is going to be no more than two hours and 40 minutes, right? Let me, uh, let me just double check that. Yes, two hours and 40 minutes. Now the question is, is what speed, so there's R, so the, that's what they want to know, what speed in miles per hour must the train average in order to fulfill this guarantee? Okay, great, great. So we're looking for rate, right? Now sometimes you use capital T. I use lowercase t, by the way, the, because capital T is usually for temperature. But again, lowercase t is usually for time. So let me change these to t. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can use whatever variable you want, okay? And usually lowercase r is used And, oh, by the way, it's usually lowercase d. <laughs> but again, it doesn't matter. The point is, is the formula, okay? So, we want to find rate, so that's what we're solving for. Guess what? Well, we're going to use this formula. So, rate equals distance over time. So what's going on? This is 400. I'm going to put the units in because we want to make sure that the units work out. If the units don't work out, we made a mistake somewhere. So we want 400 miles and the time is... Now again, we want miles per hour. So we want to write this in hours. So we want to change this minutes to hours. Okay, so this is going to be what? So 40 minutes over 1 times, what is it? It's 1 hour over 60 minutes. So don't remember, don't forget your conversion factors, right? Your unit ratios. So minutes cancel with minutes. So what do we get? We get what? 40 over 60 hours, which is basically equal to 4 sixths of an hour. Okay, which is equal to what? Two thirds of an hour. 
So that means this is going to be two and two thirds. So we'll just put two and two thirds of an hour. So now we've got, now look at your units. We've got miles per hour. We're good. So now we just have to divide. So this sets it up just like any problem we've been dealing with in the past. So it's a division problem. So this is going to equal. So I'm going to change this into an improper fraction. So this is going to be equal to 400 over what? 8 thirds. And now I'm going to change this to a multiplication problem, right? So this is going to be 400 over 1 times the reciprocal of the bottom, which is 3 eighths. And so now I just multiply across the bottom and divide. Okay? So if I see this, you can cancel. So this goes 1. Okay? Uh, 8 goes into 400 50 times. Or no, 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 no. Hold on. Yes. 50 times. And so then this equals 150. And guess what? It's going to be 150 miles per hour. So that's the average speed that the bullet train needs to go in order to reach San Jose or, or to go between San Jose and Los Angeles, I think it was Los Angeles, um, in the guaranteed um, maximum time of two hours and 40 minutes. And that's it. Have a great day.